small size is one of our strengths. You know, we are allowed as professors to really get to know our students because um, an average class size is about eight. The biggest I've ever had is 25 students in a class. So we have the luxury of spending a lot more time with each student. This is a great place to go to school. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us here on STCN. I'm Kevin Witcher. Joining me in the studio today is Kimberly Griffin, the wellness assistant at the College of St. Joseph, along with Dr. Michael Kiesler, the chair of psychology and human services department. Thank you guys for joining me today. So on Friday, December 5th, you guys are hosting Health for the Holidays. Can you explain to our viewers a little bit about what this event is? Sure, well, it's part of the In the Know with Joe series that the college has launched. They launched in October, so this is the second of the series, um, a monthly series that will be held on different topics related to things that different um, faculty and staff on campus are knowledgeable in. So this one, because it's the holiday season, is about the holidays and how to stay healthy and stress-free. Where did the idea for this event originate from? I think we want to be connected with the community better, you know, with the Rutland community and the high school and everything. So we started, came up with the idea of going out and yeah, kind talking of like, about topics. Yeah. Right, taking, taking education kind of off campus and being a part of the greater community. Now, Kimberly, you're going to be offering tips on how to be healthy during the holidays. A lot of us, you know, we're eating all this food, all the junk food, <laughs> and some people aren't going to end up be staying holiday healthy on the holidays, not staying on diets or whatever. Can you give us some tips on how people can stay healthy over the holidays? Sure. Well, I should say, first of all, I am not a health expert at all. Um, I'm the director of the, the Rutland Area Physical Activity Coalition, as well as the wellness assistant on campus. So basically, my role in the community and on campus is to just keep people in check and, and help them remain balanced. So um, I'm not necessarily going to give you like, here's the, the one way to remain healthy, but more to remind folks to keep that balance, to stay active, to, you know, if we're going to have extra cookies and cakes and sweet things that are holiday treats, to try to balance that with physical activity and also just being generally aware of your actions in that sense. How important is it for people to stay healthy during the holidays? Well, I think for a number of reasons. One, like you mentioned, diets. So a lot of times when we get into the holidays, we end up eating a lot more of things that we aren't necessarily always eating. And because we're so busy, we're being less active. So we can tend end up with weight gain, um, which then also because of the change in daylight and the seasons can turn into some depression or sadness. So actually, it's kind of why we're together, we're mind and body, now because it's all connected and so if we can remain on the healthier side or at least aware of the things we're doing we can maybe prevent some of those things like the physical part of weight gain and the mental part of depression and sadness now she said mentioned the mental part that's what mm -hmm. you're going to be talking about dr kiesler um how can people stay stress-free and keep the mental wellness in check during the holidays? There, there are a lot of things we can do to um, be better that way. One of the things that will really help is if we make ourselves aware of how we're being worked on by the media to fulfill some expectations that maybe aren't our own. So one of the best things we can do is pretty much decide through talking with our family members what do we want our holiday to look like and what traditions do we want to make sure happen but what are some other things that maybe aren't as important to us that we can set aside and not feel like the media's version of what Christmas or the holidays looks like has to be what we do. So that, re that really helps just knowing the expectation is what we set it to be. Kind of take Christmas or the holiday back for ourselves is a good place to start. Um, can, I'm going to ask this for both of you. We'll start with you, Kimberly, and then Dr. Kiesler. 
you guys give a kind of, I know you gave a little bit of an overview of what you're going to be talking about. Can you give our viewers just a little bit more in depth so they can get excited about the <laughs> presentation and come down to a college? Sure. Well, actually, they'll be going to the Speakeasy Cafe um, is where the event will be held tomorrow. Um, but I guess for the physical side, we'll, I'll, and actually this morning we um, were working with some folks and did a little bit of stretching and yoga. So some ways that, you know, even at the dinner table, what are some things that you can be doing maybe after the blessing before you eat? Here are some stretches to kind of like help you focus and which, which for one might get some kinks out, but also may um, help you to re be really intentional about the meal that you're having, the people who are around you, and really just kind of plug in. Um, so that'll be some of the things that I talk about tomorrow. Um, it's basically just offering folks the opportunity to plug in and um, make some intentions about their holidays. And then, um, to just keep going, and then also the, the rest of the year, right? Like the holidays yes. are this little section of time, but it really is about wellness all year round. Exactly, and dealing with stress all year round. So we're hopefully gonna be able to kind of have a discussion tomorrow at the cafe and just talk with people about their ideas about what makes the ho holiday meaningful to them and what they can do to reduce the stress level overall. Just for an example, one quick idea. Um, where did we get the idea that we have to wrap every single gift and put it under the tree? Because there's that tradition in a lot of families. But I can remember growing up, uh, just a quick story, one year my mom, knowing that I was that kind of sneaky little kid that would go find their presents and maybe look at, <laughs> get into them and look at them a little bit, one of my big presents she actually hid in the washing machine one year and didn't wrap it and then brought it out and put it under the tree from Santa. So there are some things you can do like that to save some time and some of the headaches of, you know, 12th hour, oh my goodness, we're out of wrapping paper tape, sending the husband, you know, off to Walmart to get, you know, stuff that you need and then staying up till two or three in the morning. There's some ways you can work around that, like not wrapping everything. So that's just one idea that we might kick around tomorrow at Speakeasy. Is there anything both of you want to say, anything else about staying healthy mentally or physically during the holidays or even any time during the year? I would just say that um, it's important for people to set intentions and to set goals and make them be attainable goals. So, um, for example, 100 miles in 100 days is a walking challenge going on right now, and that's an attainable goal. So if you say you're going to walk a mile a day for 100 days, you can hopefully achieve it. You're not saying, I'm going to walk 1,000 miles. So I think that's really important um, for, for intentions to be set that are attainable. And little things like um, making a budget. How much are we going to spend for the holiday? And try to stick to that budget can help help us not have the after the holidays repercussion of now I'm depressed because I have all these bills coming in that I have to pay for Christmas <laughs> or on the holiday. So. so this event is taking place at Speakeasy. What time tomorrow? It's at noon. Um, Speakeasy is on Center Street um, in Rutland, mm -hmm. and just a small coffee shop. Um, Number 67. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, and we yeah, hope that we've got a good turnout. All right, guys, thank you very much. Kimberly Griffin, Ms. or Dr. Michael Kiesler, thank you both for joining thank us you, today. Thank you.